Let's try to see if we can do anything about this family tree situation. Do we have to go see the mom to actually put it together? I believe so. Because if so, then we're going to have a... We're starting to get... I, I mean, we have some memory of what's going on, but like, um, you know, the more complicated this family tree gets, the harder a time we're going to have. But I, I feel like if we can just take our time with it and trial and error, it's not going to be too bad. I'm sure they're not going to be as mean as to be like, get it all in one shot, fuck you, you know? Dartboard? Hey. <laughs> Who's hiding out in the bathroom back there? Someone's peeping. Someone's peeping from the so bathroom. Someone looking at the doors? Yeah, there you are. Nope, nope, nothing to click on. Alright. So, I think we've talked to everybody then. Let's, uh, let's... Let's mosey. Let's skedaddle. Mosey on. Where to now? Let's make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, there's an alleyway. Girls, 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 I do adore. Put your number on this paper, because I would love to date you, Holly, at you <laughs> when I get off tour. <gasps> what about girls, 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 dinner, dinner, dinner. <laughs> girls, girls, girls. Yeah, I suppose you can go that way, too. <laughs> <laughs> they're both they they match the their um the metric right. Anyway, Rosalind Elsie Franklin was a British chemist and X-ray crystallography specialist. X-ray crystallography is a study of how beams of light move through various crystals and how the atoms inside are arranged. She presented a seminar on the structure of DNA molecule and later captured a photo of X-rays moving through crystallized DNA. Girls, Without girls, girls is leading to an underground feminism speech. That's awesome. Look at that. Without these two contributions, we wouldn't know the structure of DNA, the building block of all living things. Rosalind was raised in a family of activists. She had an aunt and an uncle deeply involved in the women's suffrage movement in Britain. And her parents helped resettle Jewish refugees who had escaped from the Nazis. Even as a kid, she was an excellent scholar and attended one of few girls' school in London that taught math and physics. She attended university at Cambridge where she met Adrienne Whale, a French scientist and a former student of Marie Curie. Don't Marie. you mean Marie Curie? Marie Curie? <laughs> as, they, as they say it. No, it's Marie Curie. No, Marie Curie. No, it's yeah. vrai. No, it's just... It's like, um, yeah. <laughs> the, the English... Les uh, Anglophones. Les Anglophones. Curie. Curie. Marie Curie. Curie. Marie Curie was famous for discovering radium and polonium and was also a pioneer in the field of X-rays. In 1951, a young Dorothy Crawford would road trip with her classmates to see Rosalind Franklin's groundbreaking DNA molecule seminar. The same Dorothy Crawford, Hodgkins, would later use X-ray crystallography to map the structure of insulin. So... That's an impressive lineage of scientific woman mentoring woman, and that's so awesome! Yeah, okay, so the... <laughs> the the underground, uh... Community college class? Not, you know? <laughs> like... Alright. Two scientists who presented... Uh, do you want me to take it? Uh, yeah, sure, please. Two scientists who presented the completed structure of the DNA molecule, the double helix, used Rosalind's unpublished data to correct their original model. Watson and Crick. Without Rosalind's calculations, her lab photos of crystallized DNA, we wouldn't have molecular biology. Rosalind Franklin deserves credit for building our understanding of genetics and how everything living is made. I didn't know that. Puzzle piece. Ah, oh, jeez. Welcome. Please sign our guest book. Hey, Emily. Yeah? You wanna go get sushi burritos after this? Oh no, we're trying to save money, but I hear the siren songs of 
the sushi Rito calling me. You had me at hay. Oh, that sounds terrible. Sushi Rito? Too much rice. Yeah, you're right. Way too much rice. Like a burrito with seaweed. Okay, probably some tang to it. But then just infinite rice in the middle and a tiny sliver of meat. That sucks. That's awful. Well, I'm nothing to do with it. Am I in the wrong room? This is definitely not a support group for people who have grown emotionally attached to vloggers. Uh, excuse me. I'm clearly trying to take notes on the material, so shoo. I've attended advocacy talks all up and down the East Coast, but this one, by far, has the best lemon square and brownie <laughs> selection. Oh. This is also affirming. I'm approaching max validation. Makes me want to stretch right out of here and start a revolution. All right, Sal. <laughs> Carol, c'est Carol. Yeah. Hey, you know this uh, beloved movie franchise, uh, Space Flight, Episode Seven, uh, Return of the Guy. Remember when Banagan Cloud Pincher is revealed to be the guy? I feel like people really misunderstand the character. How about that? Can I get a coffee? Nope. Nope. Check the time. Get a piece. Piece of a puzzle. All right. Ooh, someone new. Have a seat. We're just about to get started. All right. Back alleyway. Oh, you couldn't grab a seat? You had to get up? Okay. Uh, it didn't. This chair, the empty chair, didn't lead to anything. Oh, okay. I hovered over it. I didn't have time to, uh. Yes, 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 we. Yes. Yes. So. Okay, you just have to go through this. Uh, yep. When I go right here, empty seat, no dice. You have to wait for her to go again, like, grab the seat. Help yourself to some coffee from in Okay, no, it's just banter, rolls. right? Oh, go on. <laughs> yeah, it's just banter. That appears to be all there is to Alright, let's bounce. Alright. Out of the alley. How about the fun district? I'm not for fun. Did we come from downtown? I wonder. There we go. Oh, we came from there. Okay, well, let's try this again. Am I your back already? Why, hello again, dear. Did you manage to take any family photos? All right, let's give it a shot. Maybe... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have some links. Maybe we have to find the the grandfather or grandmother, like the progenitor. You yeah. Know? The, the their first siblings. Gator. So Joni, she has is the brother of Jared, of tall Jared. No. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. no, they're, they're brother and sister. And yeah. Tal Jared is Pat's cousin. Okay, so well, first we gotta find the sibling connection and, and see if she fits into it. Yeah, we need one to stick. And then the whole thing can come together from that. Alright, if I can't get her, then I'm just giving up until the end. Like... Are these not sibling connections implying that... They are descendants. Descendants of the line above. Is this and this not the brother or sister siblings of this person here? Am I, am I incorrect in assuming that these up arrows are not 
where the kids would go? Okay, well then, yeah, it's going up. Correct. Uh, so that's fine. Oh, there we go! It's stuck. It's stuck. Okay. Finally. Yes. One on the board. Yes. So, Joni... If you are new and missed the first try on this, it goes up, not down. This is what my I made the I made the yeah. assumption of assuming it went down when I first how, came. How are you gonna people who are saying that it's coming from the top? Are you gonna take two separate lines and then make a pattern? Like what? I made the same mistake when I first looked at it. Yeah, it's and just, then you figured it out. It's just they probably missed that moment, came in and were confident, but it's okay. God. We found the first one. Okay, so Joni's brother is yes, Tall Jared. Yeah, yeah. So now this would make sense. So that makes sense. So there we go. Tall Jared's over there. Sunblocking monolith. All right. We saw a picture of their parents. We have not met them yet. And we don't know. Uh, Prince and Princess Valentino are Pat's second cousins. Okay. But we don't know where Pat goes anyway. So, like, uh, they're cousins, though. But this is a unique. Tall Jared is Pat's cousin. Right. But what I'm saying is Tall Jared being over here is disconnected from the rest of the tree. So whoever... Like this parent is is yeah. the si is the sibling of Pat's parents, so we have to assume that these floating units, w despite there being no connection, it means we're not seeing the link between them. Mm. You understand? Mm. So if he's if they're cousins, then it like yeah. Well, no, he's got. We know his parents, so that wouldn't make sense. But he's got to be one of the children here. It's gonna stick at some point. Hey, don't roll so far away. There we go. Oh, thank God. Okay. So no, he's twenty-four. Wow. Okay. So this is Mama. Oh, maybe other side then. Yeah. Great. Lovely Maria. Maria, Maria, Maria. And then we have these are the other cousins. And they're douches. Yeah, they're second cousins. Second cousins, so they're more distant. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's get them over on this line, perhaps. Twenty-five Gadfly Socialite. And there's a third. Wasn't that one commercial? <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's cousins too, so probably going on this side. Uh, Geraldine, I don't know the link. She said cousin. She said cousin. Okay. Yep. There you go. Bang bang. Tween. Mod on age appropriate anime forum. She's a tween. That's crazy. I thought you were like under ten. Yeah. All right. What about? And he's a cousin too. So he was probably going over there. Slick. <laughs> Annoying people. Eighteen. All right. He's eighteen. Jesus Christ. And this is... Ages are weird. Uh, Bobby Blue Eyes? Bobby Blue Eyes, yeah. So this first cousin once removed. First cousin once removed from Pat? Yes. Hmm. Over here, maybe? No. He wouldn't be a parent of them, would he? No, that wouldn't. No, we saw the picture. That would make sense. Maybe he's... Yeah, there you go. That makes sense. <laughs> Sc scummy kid, scummy dad. Very busy, very cool business guy. All right, there we, we got go. all that we have right now. Hey, that looks good. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. All right, good job, good job. Oh, another tip. Hello, hello. Your pal, the city aficionado here. I just wanted to make sure you know about this cool local place called Nana Roo's Antiques. I know what you're thinking. Antiques are for grandmas. And you're right. The whole shop is run by a grandma. Well, a nana, Nana Roo. 
there's a great local legend about the place that it's super haunted by like five billion ghosts. Oh my god. Yeah. What's really haunting though is the prices. <laughs> Raffle. Raffle. Raffle copter. Ha. Just a little shopping humor from me to you. You know he's laughing when he puts an H at the end and a period. Did you know that uh, according to a random article on the internet, um, the current generation of like gens of Zoomers see periods as aggressive? It's an really? aggressive form of punctuation because if you're talking casually, on text and on messenger you don't put a, you don't period. Put a period yeah so if you put it. a period it's a way of saying something aggressive which means if you're just typing in a proper fashion it can be misinterpreted as hostile i can see it yeah i can see it wild it's crazy. <laughs> like i have removed periods from messages because of that reason i only do it like ironically as a deliberate means of sounding stupid like remember they've told you about the, the voice of hey what's going on yeah. <laughs> right the voice of all lowercase with no yeah. uh with, no with capital no, pa no capitalization and no punctuation yeah. i do that to get a certain tone hey dude pay attention to me but like uh, otherwise i still would use it in a normal message but like that's quickly becoming uh unintentionally aggressive wild I'm not really rolling on the floor. Also, two dots and an ellipses. A little bit of a... It's like, which one do you want? Do you want an ellipses? Or? Two dots annoy me to no end. Isn't it kind of bad? Isn't it kind it's of bad? It's so annoying. Don't put anything. Like, either put three ellipses, which already, like, eh, not a fan of it. My mom overdoes it. My mom uses eight, eight dots on her ellipses to be like... Pregnant pause. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, uh, two dots sucks. Just fucking three or none, and preferably none. Anyway, Nana Ru is as much of a of a card shark as she is a de deal shark, so be careful. But if you have time, defo, check out her colorful shop. It's tons of fun, dude. Who are we talking to? Are we talking to, to Geraldine? We might be talking to Geraldine. You think? The way they're talking, I don't know. All right, well, anyway, let's uh, get back. Da, 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 da. I don't want, I would, I would go to a place called Soupies. You better make mind. some good ass soup. Yeah, I'm not a soup guy. I'm Ooh. not a soup guy, but a really good soup I can get down with. Like, a good thick cream of mushroom is, yeah. is awesome. With some cheese and some crackers to do the thing. Maybe some bread to, mm -hmm. you know? That's amazing. But it's like, yeah. Most of the time I prefer a different dish. We got the B-sharps over here. Hello. 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 Hey. <laughs> God damn it, Luis. <laughs> um. Oh. oh. Hello. <laughs> we're oh, the downtown, downtown quartet, quartet and, and we'll, we'll sing you a song. It's, it's not, not a very short one, but it, it also ain't long. We'll, we'll sing it in the morning and we'll sing, sing, sing it past, past noon. noon. We've had a lot of noise complaints and we'll be gone soon. It's solo Maurice! <laughs> The jail. Yeah. Whom? Denise. Luis. Patrice. Maurice. Pat. 
we're Pat's aunt and uncles. He's our darling nephew. All except for Lewis, who's just part of the crew. Take it, Lewis. Ooh, baby, I'm not related to Pat. No, no, nothing like that. I'm just a guy they know that takes part of the show. Oh, oh. Whoa, dude. Going back. <laughs> it's all right. The event. We can't tell you much. But, but we'll, we'll sing, sing like a bird. If, if you, you can help us with our act, we'll tell you all we heard. All right. Give them a solo without it triggering an oh no. Barbershop upset. Help the alligator quartet fill in their solos. When the scrolling bar shows a singer's background, point the spotlight at them. Let's first form up our vocal cords. Keep an eye on the scrolling bar at the bottom. Okay, so it's not going to be DDR. <laughs> <laughs> shine the spotlight at the singer with the matching background. When the groovy disco pattern shines, shine the spotlight on the disco ball. We'll all sing together. Ready, gentlemen? Ready, maestro? <laughs> far right, far right. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> far right. Okay, I completely misunderstood the rules at first with the pattern. That's okay. We can we can we can now do that we again. Now yeah, we, we can do that again. Works, That's yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a unique way to do uh, the like note the note, maestro note tracks. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you missed one. The second one was at the far left. Say, that felt pretty good. What do you think, fellas? Not enough, Patrice time. Patrice demands, demands more solo time. Okay, one more time for Patrice. Round two. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> What did give you a fail? I wasn't fast enough. Well, to my ears, that sounded... I, I feel... I feel like I could have had more timber. Timber? Come on. It's a singing word. I'm a real singer, and I'm gonna prove it. Okay, okay, last time. All right, everyone. Give it everything you've got. <laughs> Man, if you're nice. colorblind, this must be rough. <laughs> P 
Perf. Hello, my baby on board. How I adore that sign on my bay window pane. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Lewis is not one of us. Come on, man. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, jeez. <laughs> oh, Sorry, guys. Yep, you helped us with song and to improve, improve, improve our content. Okay, all right, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> now what we're gonna tell you is we're booked at the event. Thanks, Thanks for all your, your help. Now we'll see you in a wing. Unless we get arrested. Then please bring us from the clink. Separate by syllables. Do it like old in the old day when you wrote like rap lyrics. They'd put a slash at the end. Yeah. And the slash would divide the bar. Yeah. From the other bar, and you would know it was but da 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 da. You know, and it was like fucking yeah. Cut it right. Cut it right. What's Good up? job. Whoa, whoa, what's happening in this you car? Okay, buddy. Wait, Frisk the lady. Never mind, she can go. Hey, I didn't say I could fucking sing. I'm just saying cut it right. Sleepy pants is sleeping. What's up? George. Or Jorge? Jorge. <laughs> okay, well then it's Jorge. Jorge. The breeze, the practicing quartet. What a perfect day to be a live alligator. Yeah, he's dancing, has the move and everything. I sell bug. Yo, he was looking at her. Yeah, bugs for sale, bugs for sale. More than one, even. Unlike the sign in place. Yeah, I sell bugs here. No, not for bait and free. We're alligators and we eat bugs. Which is something you know, because you exist here. Canonically. Anyway, get by it or goodbye, kiddo. I ain't got all day. Cause I gotta sell bugs to feed my family with different bugs. Which I buy with alligator currency. Most people call me Papuli. But my real name is Mormor Gills Jr. Giles Jr. The third and a half. On account of my grandfather being perfectly bisected by a weak thresher during the Great Depression. God damn. Miraculously, he survived, but his life wasn't without its problems. So how hard, how was it hard for him to see when he turned directly to the side? Gampa, what are you, we call, but to no avail, he'd already slipped through the crack in the decorative linoleum. It's the last time we ever saw him. And also when those basement sounds started up. But look at me rambling here like a youth to the cellar, about the cellar screams and the like. Uh, you know how this Pat fella? Hey, you say Pat? That's my grandson's name. But also the name of that nurse that comes by to massage the kicks out of my tail on Tuesdays. <laughs> Did you mean Pat? Or Pat? You'll have to be speak up. I'm out of here and due to a condition where I stop listening mid sentence and think about the war. Oh no. <coughs> hey! Event. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I have a selective memory disorder, you see. And then I forget about things I don't really want to go to. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Perhaps you could jog this old man's memory if you helped me out with a favor. You see, the only photo I have left of my dear late wife Martha has also been the victim of a wheat thresher incident. I can't seem to put it back together again. Oh, I'd give everything to see Martha's sweet smile again. Can I help this old softy gaze upon the lost love once more? Of course. 
Of course he wants some Martha. Well play. <laughs> Click a block to slide it, light it into the empty space. Reassemble the picture to gaze upon this alligator's beautiful wife. Hey, we're playing slidey blocks. Hate that game. Puzzle blocks, you don't like it? Oh man, this shit, I remember this was like Liam's favorite genre of, of game. What? <laughs> Fucking addicted to puzzle blocks. Huge fan. Yeah, you hate them? I always, yeah. I always thought they were all right. I don't, I don't mind them at all. I don't mind them that much. It's like, it's the game that you see everywhere that you have to spend time doing, and shuffling stuff around. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. There's always, of course, a pattern to it, you know? Like doing a Rubik's Cube? Yeah. Bro, you're good. That's it. That's my mouth. Oh, lovely dear Martha, I'll always remember the sound of you. <laughs> 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 the voice is killing him. <laughs> hey, I got, I got pretty far. I did my best. <laughs> so that is not a seasoned character. That's one episode. <laughs> Yeah, you can't have it for 26 Listen, episodes. Listen, man, Solid Snake was born with a glass of whiskey and grit. <laughs> David grabbed a fucking glass and he drank it and he went in. Uh. I'll always remember the sweet sound of a voice in her. Oh, no, I saw that. Did you Fuck. see it? Yeah. The puzzle broke up again. Oh, dear, it seems you see the other side. Now with my secret... Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> now with my secret wife. Can't you put this one back together, too? If not for me, it'd for creepy old coot grandpas everywhere. Oh, God, the secret wife. Mm -hmm. Woof. Sounds familiar? Uh, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, all too familiar. Shit. Unfortunately. Uh, many blocks. Yeah. A little harder this time. Gotta figure out what side is what. Uh, looking at the wall can give you most of the information needed. Nice. To figure out the pattern. There are a lot of people in that picture. Uh, three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, the question is is what's the arrangement for all around it, yeah? Uh which side? Because um no, she would be next to him. That doesn't line up at all, so he's sticking his head out from the other side. Okay. Uh, based on this... Oh, you're in the, she's in the dead center. He's on the left and he's on the right. Oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I misunderstood what I, what, what, which way. Okay, I understand now. That is a rude message. <laughs> what? <laughs> What do you mean, what? What, like, the implication of them? Three? The the, the corner message. Oh, I wasn't you even looking at that. <laughs> no, I was staring at the puzzle. I was staring at the puzzle. That is pretty rude. You're not wrong. Uh, okay. So. Now that I've got that idea down. Uh, let's see here. I got the first one okay, but obviously it gets a little bit yeah, more Yeah, we're three by three. Yeah, I'm used to three by threes. Uh, this, 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 
this. No, I want to keep the rotation a little bit longer, like... Uh... Oh, okay. One second. One second. Da, da, da. I am so lost. Da, 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 da. This is all you, baby. Okay. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. Um... Right. So... Uh, we want to get... They're mm. probably not the top. This is the top. And then there's something above their heads. They seem to be wearing like karate geese or something. Yeah, they definitely seem to be wearing karate geese, yeah. So I guess that top right one... If you've already solved one. it in your head, that's good for you. <laughs> Too bad. Uh, let's, let's go. So let's see if I, that top... So that would be one. Unless there's a blank one in one of the corners, perhaps. That might be bottom corner. You know? mm. All right. Well, we can try to rotate to the top and see what we get. Uh, so we want to actually, let's say, go like this. Yeah, there's a bit of neck. Oh, yeah. Mm, this is probably on the left side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna do a full rotation. It's a bit like a Rubik's cube logic. Ugh. You know. Do you know people who could do like four by four Rubik's and no, five by five? No, I don't. Again, the only person I knew that was like super into these was uh, Liam. Um. So. Uh. All right. So I got it inverted based on the way it was lined up just now. If I were to, let's say, assume that this is what we want in the top right, then we'll just put this in the top right. All right, so the next to that, in theory, would be uh, this coming all the way around. And then uh, if we were to go backwards, get you in place. And then you're on the opposite side. Yeah. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think this is going to take me a second. It's, it's probably going to take me a while to click around until we actually get somewhere with this, so... Fucking puzzles. There's one, um... A French group that were making a parody of Fort Boyard. What's you remember that? that? No. Uh, it was a show that's been internationalized, and it's basically this fort in the middle of the sea. Okay. And they do trials, and you have to get, gather keys and get gold pieces and stuff. And there's one sliding puzzle like this on the floor where you have to slide the tiles and stuff. And the guy, it's a comedy skit. So a guy is like sliding the stuff and he's like, is it like this? Oh wait, I have to peel it off. And he rips off the tiles instead of sliding them and solving uh, the puzzle. And he's like, I got the key, I got the key. But he just destroyed the whole thing. And they're like, whatever, dude, let's just move on to the next game. It's okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, that would have been fun to solve if I, if I was not rushed for time, but it is what it is. Let's go. Ah, jeez. Oh, you did it. Jeez. Oh, oh, Gertie. Good old Gertie. It's been years since I've looked upon your sweet curly hair and your man breaking arms. <coughs> wow, you're really getting into character. <coughs> you, you alright? You alright, Papuli? It tickles the throat. Yeah, I understand, Papuli. It doesn't hurt, it just tickles. It's all these bugs. It's all these bugs. Thank you so much for your help, stranger. Thanks to you, I'm reunited with my, lof my lost loves. Mother passed years ago, but Curtis just in witness protection. <laughs> you know, from all the man breaking. What a fire crack of that gal. On cold days, I can still feel the phantom broken, broken body paint she left me. Eh, yeah. event. Divide it tonight's event. Well, I can't tell you, it's, uh, it's past my bedtime. You young folks love staying up late. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm neither. In, I'm in bed by six nightly after a modest dinner and soft bed bug puddings 
four to seven episodes of Soft Flutes on Public Broadcast. Anyway, kiddo, thanks again for helping me out, or should I say helping three out. No problem, uh, Papuli. Don't tell my grandkids. Hey, you better get that voice checked, okay? All right, Papuli, see you soon. Hey, it's me again. Pat! It's almost four. I could really use your help. You know anything about shoes? And wearing of they're in, them they're in? A couple things. Perfect! Could you come meet me in my hotel room? Just make sure you aren't followed by any shifty characters. Or college-age canvassers in cargo shorts. I already gave all my dollar bills to the guy pretending to be a statue on the 4th Street. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Give oh. your money to Aiden? I'm on my way, so he's not dead. Sorry, Aiden? Aiden. Actually, technically, it's pronounced A-I Den, man. Oh, God. Confidence in the strut. Yes. Clean shoes. Glasses off. Ugh. Ugh. Good evening to you, fellow traveler. Have you come to imbibe some ales after your long journey as well? Garçon. Fetch us your finest novelty wine based on a popular sci-fi television show. Oh. Nice suit. I like dabbling in a little bit of cosplay myself. Not interested, Min. Not interested. <laughs> 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 Why, well, just last year, at Alligator Comic Con, I dressed as a character of my own creation, Derulus, Great Wizard of the North. My brother Mickey helped me out put it together, though he did get it a bit slimy. Whom? I'm Derry, known as the terror of the east side in most magics, the happening card game circles. On campus, I'm known as terror of the AP bio lab, or the one with that haircut. He's definitely the one with the haircut. Oh yes, you got it. What up haircut? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Pat. Pat is my second cousin, as well as my second favorite person to play D&D &D with. The first being my internet friend Carl, whose dad got rich byte mining, byte coin uh, byte mining. Coin. Yeah. That's a bard, so, you know, pretty party useless. Great singing voice, though. He can really wail on that juice harp. So he's a cousin, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's a party. <gasps> what, am I not supposed to say that? Oh, jeez. Huh? You're leaving already? Well, safe travels, my fellow traverser of the mortal plane. Nervous dairy indeed. <laughs> Perhaps we will meet again in another realm, or on an internet forum for role-playing. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm gone. You stick by those RP forums on your own, friend. Later, nerd. Hello, esteemed guest. Mr. Pat asked me to inform you to come straight to his hotel room upon arrival. He also asked me to warn you to knock first, in case he was wearing pants. But not to say that second part out loud. Can you forget what I just said? And come with me. I'll walk you to Mr. Pat's room at once. It's true, this is a universe where the animals wear pants. Important distinction. <laughs> if you'd be so kind as to click and drag along this hallway, we should arrive shortly. Oh god! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my. How embarrassing. Please don't tell the internet we've had a biohazardous incident. Again. Why drag? Why? Thank you for your patience, esteemed guest. We've now arrived. Mr. Pat is expecting you. Please just knock in case he's... Have a Johnny of a day. He doesn't wear pants. Everyone else does. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Welcome back. I was just trying on some pan. Nothing. I wasn't doing anything, actually. So, have you talked to more of my family? Found any secret plans? You think they're throwing me? No. No, you're throwing. Totally wrong about that. I would definitely know if they were doing that. Plus, it sounds a little far fetched, don't you think? Can't pull one over on old Pat on his birthday. That's what I always say. I say it sometimes, like once a year. No, wait, they're definitely putting together a systematic plan to end my moderate to small life, but I appreciate you putting the thought in. Maybe if you talk to a few more people, you'll find out something we can really use. In the meantime, though, I actually called you back here because I needed your help. Okay. I have a problem, you see. Shoe-related problem. I don't usually wear them, but I figured if I did tonight, maybe I'd have a better luck hot-footing it out of there to safety if I needed to. Issue is my usual shoeless, pantless nature, but the drawer where I actually keep all my things. Last week, Manana Roo gifted me an antique armoire from her shop as early, excuse me, as an early birthday present. It's big, spacious, practical, and so super haunted. It's leaving a weird stain on the parquet flooring just by existing. Oh boy. I haven't been able to find any of my shoes, and when I open up the drawer, weird stuff happens. Here, why don't you see for yourself? Peruse for shoes. Soul searching. Ballet shoes. Find a pair of Pat's favorite shoes by clicking on these suspicious drawers. Be careful, if Pat gets too scared, he'll give up on shoes forever. Oh my god. After each round, the contents of the drawers will shuffle around. Spooky. Help me find my shoes, please. Round one. Shit. Oh boy, the anxiety meter is rising. Oh boy. Hey, shoe, let's find the other. Nope. Okay. It's another shoe. Okay, so we need a match. No, not that. <laughs> PT. Alright. Ominous. The top four were empty, weren't they? Unless that was just like a fake out for the animation. Oh, that's at the bottom uh, one, right? Alright. Bottom, bottom second? Yeah. Right under the that same one, no? Or is that the, what I want to show them to? Yeah, there you go. We didn't take them out. You have to actually do the memory. Yeah. Game. Yeah, match, match two. Right. Round two. Okay, so those four, you see the top being empty, does that count? Or well, not? Now it's shuffled around, so it's a new realm. Okay, so the tops being empty like that is not real, it's just, yeah, okay, alright. I, I was a little bit confused by, like, uh, the, yeah. Wop. Oh, another okay. shoe here. Brown on the fourth one. Alright, so two and four. on the second, yeah. Yep. A. Nice. Hey, brown shoe. Ugh. No, fuck. That's a fire hazard. Yeesh. Oh, another. That's 14 years. Bad luck. Wow, this is really bad luck on this run. Okay, let's do that throw. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. My shoes. Yeah, how about that? Fair. I can't believe it, you found all three pairs of shoes I own. Mm -hmm. Every shoe is represented here, brown, sneaky, and tropical. You know, looking at them now, it's kind of giving me performance anxiety, actually. Maybe I should go bare flipper like I usually do. Uh, sorry, I'm so nervous, I'm not thinking straight. Sorry I made you come back here for nothing, but I really appreciate that you did. Anytime. Oh, oh fucking geez. hell. <laughs> So glad we met today. You're the best pal I've had in a long time. I'm getting all mushy. You get back out there and dig up more dirt, and I'll text you just before the event. See you later, investigator. God, what a nervous wreck. 
Dude, I want to know more about the investigator, man. That knife game was fucking wild. Yeah, you want to find a mirror? What's going on?